If you are someone who struggles with decluttering their wardrobe, get in line, sis, because I'm right there with you. Today, we are going to be decluttering. I plan on doing this on a seasonal basis because I was a shopaholic in the 2010s, and so was my mom, and she passed away last summer. I have double the amounts to declutter now. Maybe um, you will find this video inspiring and helpful. I have containers everywhere in mom's room. I went through one of the bins and found some sweaters and sweatpants and shirts that I know I'm not gonna wear either because they're worn in, they might have a hole, they are just not my style and someone else would make better use of it. It is the next day and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. like really, it's just this bin that I have to empty out. Whenever I came across something that I knew for sure I'll never wear, I just immediately put it in the box that I have in front with um, the things that I'm going to donate. Look at this. Look at all the floor. I emptied out that container. It's there with other empty containers now. I will keep empty containers because they're very practical. So I just store them, I'll nest them, but a lot of this is summer clothes. There's a mix of mom's and mine. There's, of course, the dresser. This closet doesn't have much of anything. There's like a few sweaters there, but the rest is actually the makeup collection, a spare air conditioner. I am so happy with the way this portion of the room turned out. I could essentially very easily film outfit videos in here, even though the rest of the space isn't exactly tidy. Monstera is getting huge, so big. Imagine when all of these bins are gone and I can actually use that desk again. It's gonna be so dope. I'm thinking it would be so nice to go shopping today and pick up a pair of wedges that I can wear to the Dominican Republic because I haven't had a great pair of wedges in a really long time that are comfortable to wear. I was thinking about a milkmaid dress maybe. I've gained a little bit of weight and some of my dresses don't fit me the way that I would like. However, do you see the amount of clothes that are in this room? It kind of doesn't make any sense for me to feel like, oh, I've got nothing to wear, and all this stuff is here. Oh no, Dylan. Pile of clothes on top of this bin. <sighs> okay. Guys, I have a little problem. The rack is already full, but there's still more clothing in my closet. And I also don't want to break the rack. My idea is coming to fruition, guys. I undusted, vacuumed, even on top of the water tank, I put in a fresh little bowl. Let me show you vinegar diluted with a little bit of water to make sure this thing's got like some permanent marks on it so ignore that i also keep a candle that i lost the wick to that has a really amazing fragrance to it for the life of me i cannot get that dark mark off the wall i tried to scrub it but whatever this is my idea to put the shoes in shoe boxes on here and then some more will go up there after i put up my duvet because it's such a sunny day outside, it's the perfect day to put your laundry out to dry. But of course, I'm gonna have to find a place for all the winter shoes. This thing is not aesthetically beautiful or anything, but it's just a little bit more simplistic than having a full-fledged rack right here. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a shoe declutter. For now, this is how it is looking. Anything that I have worn recently, I'm going to just start putting it in the closet. That way I can get the no-brainers out of the way. Basically, these are all items that I am interested in wearing, fairly certain they fit. They're the type of things that I wear and I'm just going through it quickly like this. It's just going to make my life so much easier. So let's put these in the closet. As you can see, um, the hangers are not all the same, but it is about full. I don't want to fill it past this point because we have the water heater here. You can see my room is nowhere near empty and it sounds echoey in here. 
weird. I added a super worn in pair of jeans, a top that honestly, I think I'm over it. I, it's, it had its moment. This shirt belonged to mom. I tried it on and it fits fine, but it's not my style. If something looks worn, I don't like the material. I feel like it doesn't match me anymore. It's out, it's out, it's out. So I'm going through the closet and trying everything on and I found this skirt and this is mom's top this is my skirt and because they are a pretty dead on match i think i'm gonna keep them because i kind of like the way that they look together if i can picture an outfit i'll keep it even if it goes in the maybe pile it is what it is i'm going through this rack slowly so that i can put the winter clothes here what i have here is a maybe pile so I allow myself a declutter pile and a maybe pile. Sometimes a maybe pile consists of things I think I might regret getting rid of later. I'll put them in a bin. It's sort of like a time capsule that I'll shop later when I'm at a different preference, a different weight perhaps. But it's something I'll dig into at a later date, but I'm just not ready to let it go completely right now. I just need it out of the vicinity. All right, y'all, it's 8 p.m. I just washed my curtains. I gotta fix that. Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> Let me fix it, it's bothering me. Dude, I just went to go get takeout and this is where my closet is so far. Um, I really don't like it when my shoes get dusty. So if I use something infrequently, I'm gonna keep it in the shoe box. And in some cases I have the original, which helps because for example, for Interval, they put the little picture of the actual shoe on it, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still do that. That's the rack that I emptied out. I'm so glad that I didn't go to the mall or anything because I found a lot of things that I might not have thought of bringing on vacation. And I actually have my luggage open in the living room so that I can put anything that comes off the top of my mind. That way I'll know what my next laundry load should be. I washed all the curtains in the apartment. I'm doing everything except for the floors right now so that when I clean the floors, oof, you know that feeling? Ooh, that feeling when everything's clean. Mm. This is just how it's looking right now, but I'm gonna have to make space for a few things that need to be hung. And there are a few things in here that would be better off folded anyhow, or maybe taken out completely. So we'll see. I separated the clothing from the books essentially and the knickknacks that i'm letting go of it's just because it makes the donation process easier but this is how the studio is looking now and this is the way that the room used to look in march you can check out my previous videos if you want to see how it looked before i'm obviously nowhere near finished this is a series on my channel that i'm doing where i'm doing a full apartment declutter be sure to like and leave a comment down below if you're enjoying this so far let me know if you have any requests and i will see you in my next video bye